Layer meets sign, also known as layer meets phenomenon or barber share phenomenon, is an abnormal neurological symptom that occurs with flexion of the neck like this. And it's thought to be due to hyperexcitability of the nerve fibers in the cervical spine that are sensitive to mechanical stimulation. Now, there are all kinds of variants of it. The most classic form would be a sensation of tingling or electric shocks in the neck, but sometimes they can radiate down the spine all the way to the tailbone or radiate into the limbs. And generally speaking, a large area of the limbs or body are affected, whereas people who have a herniated disc compressing a single nerve root, they may have a more specific shocking sensation going into a specific area, such as into the middle finger, which is associated with C7 nerve root injury. Now, classically, this symptom is associated with multiple sclerosis, and about 33% of people with multiple sclerosis have this symptom at some point, according to some reports. And the reason it's associated with MS is because in MS, people can have inflammation of the cervical spine known as transverse myelitis. So very specifically, the symptom in MS can be seen with cervical transverse myelitis. And sometimes it happens during the acute phase and goes away with recovery. But sometimes, even after someone has recovered, it can keep happening over and over again. Usually it's not treated with any medication because it improves, but if severe and associated with a lot of discomfort and pain, it can be treated with neuropathic pain medication. Now, the, this symptom is not specifically associated with MS. People can have transverse myelitis for other reasons. People can have neuromyelitis optica or Sjogren's syndrome or lupus or just cervical transverse myelitis for no reason. And the symptom can be seen with people who have cervical spine injury due to other reasons. The most common other reason would probably be arthritis with a herniated disc known as cervical spondylosis. And people can have essentially the exact same symptoms. For example, I had a younger patient who was a bodybuilder, a power lifter, and he was having layer meat sign, even though he still had good strength and pretty normal sensation and actually was able to continue power lifting but he had very severe cervical spondylosis crushing the cervical spine. And I actually recommended that he go see a spine surgeon, and he did in fact have successful surgery and recovered. And the reason I advised this just was because of his lifestyle, he was so likely to continue to injure his spine. There are also various other diseases that could cause the same symptom. For example, with severe B12 deficiency, you can get a neurological disease called subacute combined degeneration, where both the posterior columns, which are the sensory portion of the spinal cord, can be injured along with the lateral columns or the motor areas. And you can get a similar disease with severe copper deficiency or with nitrous oxide abuse, which causes a functional B12 deficiency. It's also been seen in people who get radiation therapy to the spine or for head and neck cancers. And the radiation injury to the spine can actually occur several months after the radiation. It can also occur with Arnold Chiari malformation, and it can occur with spinal cord tumors and various other neurological diseases such as Bichette's syndrome and rare neurological diseases. Now, Laermeet sign was originally reported by Jean Laermeet, uh, who is actually a French neurologist. However, he wasn't actually the first to discover it, just the first to report it. Uh, so if you do discover a new physical sign, you may want to get your name on it very quickly if you want to be famous. One other thing that I should mention is that a similar symptom, layer meat sign, has been reported in rare cases of people stopping antidepressant medications suddenly. So it's kind of a withdrawal syndrome which can occur. This is most common with the drug paroxetine or Paxil. And the reason is because Paxil has a relatively short half-life. And so doctors often recommend stopping it more slowly, reducing the dose before stopping it. This isn't very common. I don't think I've ever seen it in my career, but it is a known phenomenon. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please post in the comments below.